Hello once again, Leo. It's August 2019, your zodiac month actually, with the sun. And as you can see, this huge cluster of planets here congregating in your sun sign. It's a new moon as well on the first. So this shows just how strong your sense of identity is. And in a sense too, maybe how pushy you are going to be to get your point across. But not necessary because you know this position of the sun, your ruler here in this period of the year usually brings with it just a natural attraction by others and an ability to, you know, minimally do what you have to, to, you know, attract the right sort of opportunities in your life. You see here the position of the moon transiting here as it gets stronger through your third house of communications on the fifth sixth and then into the domestic sphere a few little hard aspects along the way here but this entry into the fourth house is uh, very much a domestic aspect some unexpected events may happen here while it transits opposite uranus incidentally uranus is moving in its forward direction just for a little while throughout this month it will go retrograde the fifth house is excellent here in terms of fortifying this conjunction of planets in your sun sign very creative very amorous maybe a little speculative be careful there because the moon for you rules your 12th house of cancer which is expense speculation and uh, ill-informed gambling if I could put it that way you'll notice also the moon moves to your sixth house on the 11th <clears throat> in conjunction with Saturn first rate enemy of yours so this area here has a lot to do with working through your debts paying back what's owed working through your health and also dealing with co-workers there may be a bit of a lull in your level of energy notwithstanding this strong combination of planets here notice also Mercury makes a sensory there around the 13th so your communication style is much stronger moon moves into your seventh house so that makes sense as well but you could be a little too imaginative here you need to keep things practical while you have that opposition of mercury and moon your emotions may be getting in the road of some of those calculated judgments mars venus and mercury all come under the sunbeams during this this period uh, and you'll see here that this can affect the affairs of what these planets rule. Mars for you is your ninth house of higher learning, legal matters and travels, as well as a domestic circumstance. And we already talked about the transit of the moon here. We also notice here the movement of the moon through the seventh house here around the 15th. And that you'll see here on the 16th the opposition to Mars can create some disputes and differences of opinion that's where you need this Mercury to you know level the, the sort of situation calm things down the idealistic Neptune conjunction here is important for matters of intimacy if you've had some problems there as I mentioned that can be smoothed over it's also got to do with getting real about your banking your finances your taxes all of those things that are ruled by this eighth house take a look also here as the moon transits through this ninth house of mars mars makes its move into your second house of finance income and your value system as well and as i said earlier you're going to see a shift from this me 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 self the identity which is likely under that new moon to a more pragmatic approach in your affairs in the second half, rather the last 10 days of the month. Here's Venus making its way here. And then you'll notice also around the 23rd, 24th, the entry of the sun into this same area. <clears throat> now, just as you thought this combustion was done with, the sun is going to come through this finance sector after the 23rd. As you can see here, it's going to make its way over the next three or four days to around the 28th burning up these planets and 
That's a problem because, as I mentioned earlier, the affairs of those houses that are ruled by these planets will start to unsettle you and be a cause for concern. Venus is your profession, Mars is your domestic, and also your legal sector. It's also got to do with your belief systems. So that could present a problem where your beliefs are in conflict, not, not just with other people, but with yourself. You may start to feel that what you've hung your hat on <clears throat> has not really been working for you. And so these last few days of the month, I think will be very telling, especially when Mercury enters here too, there's going to be the full weight of these planets and then the moon as well. And interestingly, the very last day of the month finishes up on this financial note with another new moon, two of them in the same month, um, showing the really uh, shift that you're experiencing here. Firstly, the new moon here in the first house, which is your identity, and then secondly here, your finances and what you value. So I think um, at the end of the day, this is going to be an important transition for you, an important key month in 2019. Take a look at astrology.com.au. There's a chronological uh, sequence of aspects and transits that we've put together for you. And don't forget, if you need more detailed analysis, I'm here to answer your questions. For those of you that would like uh, more detail on that, just drop me a note here. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next month. Take care. Bye-bye.